Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We have, um, encountered a couple of bugs playing Terraforming Mars Solo Challenge lately. There are some patches, or patch things, that I think that they're prepping to build stronger for later, but it's broken a couple of cards. I'm not sure of the complete extent, just some of them don't do well, other ones do fine. So, let's just go ahead and see what this looks like for us a decent little start i'm looking at point luna right now going okay i think i'd like point luna um eccentric sponsor is real good a huge asteroid i mean that helps a lot to terraform the planet for five bucks as opposed to three tr and well 11 plants but like look at this media group miranda resort investment loan which with media group is just so good the space elevator oh yeah do i have a way of getting steel not really i do actually with natural preserve of course i do so that's good let's leave that oxygen bumper there because it's uh one of the crappier ones just water splitting i don't think a lot of uh, Obviously, there's been a lot of drama with whether or not to take um, some of those cards, but uh, let's be real. I mean, come on. The water splitting is one of the weakest ones because it has the, like, the ocean requirement and all the other stuff, so we're not going to worry about it. We got Cartel? Oh, baby. I hope this... I hope this run goes well. We could take a loan to get it out this gen... But that seems weak, right? Like, we should probably just wait at least one turn to see about Earth Tags. Eh, we didn't get it. But that's fine. It was worth waiting. And let's grab a little bit of energy potential here. We have another steel to sell. We have to keep that in mind. Yeah, let's, let's play the investment loan. Because that'll get us money. It got us another Earth Tag. My word. So minus two income, then cartel, and that was for four income. And I could get four income again, but look, we just got another earth tag. So let's go ahead and grab the titanium mine and, uh, and move on from there. Any steel. Ooh, we do have some steel production here. Uh, and do we want a place between a city? Mm -mm 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 -mm. No. So, I think that it's a pretty obvious move that we actually want to go for the Comet right now. Because that gets us the steel. Then the steel gets us the steel production. You know what I'm saying? So now we have a steel every round. That was worth $5 a turn. Just as much as immigration shuttles. Saves 10 bucks right now that we can go into the next round with. We can get another titanium production. It's not too late for it. Not too late for micro mills. Not looking at Moss very favorably right now, though. Um, I mean, with three titanium, let's go ahead and get immigration shuttles. It's fine. It's, I mean, let's let's think about it. There is what six, eight productions. Eight times five is forty dollars. I paid thirty-one dollars using some titanium or whatever. Um, and I got a card draw from it, like. It's fine. It's like a $10 profit, a point or two. But hey, science tags, science tags, a lot, and, and some earth. Okay, that's popping. That was sick. That was a great draw. This could be huge. How do we get our science tags played? And do I get my income for earth at this point? I think we do. So income for earth is in... Then we get GHG factories. And then we get a solar plant. Because we have a power tag. This is a second power tag. And now we can get this fusion power, which comes with the science tag, which is what we actually want. Um, That's a cheap science tag. So that's one, two. We need, we have a third in hand. We need another one. But this is all fine. 
I don't really like buying that much energy at this point. Like, it's not that great, but at least it will turn into heat, so... It's not... It's not awful. It's just not that great. It just is, I guess. You know what we should do? We should get some freaking card draw. Let's go over here. We'll grab two... Two more cards. What do we get? Ironworks? Hey. This is actually a good time for ironworks. Uh, so we'll do a geothermal and just really have power then. Uh, acquired company. It's only going to produce one, two, three, four, five times. So it's going to barely pay itself off by $2. But I think that's worthwhile. A one point animal is also really good. We're buying a lot of cards right now. Don't you worry about that. I see you worrying. I don't want you to be. I mean, no, not you. Where is it? Ironworks, there we go. So Ironworks, that's popping. We got a heat bump every round. And then Acquired Company, just because I'm leaning in. And yeah, Steel Production's fine too. Okay. IO Mining. Played a Jovian Tag. We have four productions left absolutely not worth it but the ocean's good and so is windmills but let's be real like i'm not we're not doing so well that we should be just throwing caution to the wind here we're doing we do an ite so let's get our science freaking strap played out here i think we take the plant income here because we have lots of energy and the heat's not an issue quantum mass and we have 18 energy now. 18 energy income. I don't need a couple of the cards that I've picked up so far. But that's that's fine. We're not searching for life. Because I always kill cards I want. Equatorial Magnetizer, for instance. like That's like 4 or 5 points over the course of the game. I already have a 1 point animal, correct? Yeah, I have birds. Business contacts, love it. Uh, we have money back on events. I actually forgot that, to be honest. So... Let's go ahead and grab some of this. Heather's good. Open City's good. But do we need science for any reason? I don't think so. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, because plants, plants are pretty important at this point. Which I'm looking at Magnetic Shield Dome going, yeah. Yeah. Looking at Heather going, yeah. We got our oxygen bumper, which is helping. Yeah, I think we just need to get this played. We have a bunch of steel, which made that work. Let's play these events. And the uh, black polar dust as well. Not that I think we need the heat, but it just seemed to work out. Can I grab two steel? Mm -mm, I can grab a steel. I really want Equatorial Magnetizer. And I just have enough for Heather afterwards. So that works out. There we go. So we get to do it on the 9th turn, the 10th turn, the 11th turn, and the 12th turn. So that's 4 points. A Wild Tag. I don't think so. Nitrolithic Moss though. That's good. Why would I need a Wild Tag? I just don't. Okay. So I have so much heat right now. I did not expect to have this much energy. And this much heat. And I didn't grab the... Uh, there was a card earlier that allows you to do, like, 8 heat for a TR. And it would have been uh, really good. Would have been quite, quite good. Let's go ahead and start getting some cities downrange. So, rover construction into lava tube settlement, which goes here, because that has 4 adjacencies possible. Just grab a card for now. That was a mistake. Let's grab a, a card again. Sponsors is a card draw. So I want to play a greenery. Because that allows me to play Nitrolithic Moss. But I also can play Sponsors, which is fine. It's a card draw for a little bit of a loss of cash. And that actually would have allowed me to play Algae. Hmm. Hmm. Still, no big deal. 
A Nitrolithic Moss is two at plant income, so was that. Mars University is good. Dust Seals can't play. Adaptation Technology. I don't think I need it, fam. But it is a card cycle, and I got bad cards, and it has a point on it. Are we going to terraform in time? I mean, the heat's done. Right now. Heat's done. Um, oxygen, less so. Oxygen, not done. Hackers, where are you at? Get out of my hand. Um, do, don't mind that. Algae. So, greenery now. And I could get birds pretty soon, but not yet. I can just buy another greenery, right? Well, I mean, I get a greenery, first of all. And then I buy a greenery. Yeah. And then with the ox bumper and imported nitrogen and eight plants, we should be there. We just need to get the oceans played. Like, we need oceans like crazy. Damos down. Happy to have burnt that card with the search for life. Ice asteroid. There we go. And we have so much titanium that a giant, a full of space haven makes sense. We'll probably make money back on it. So a little oxygen bump, energy, all this stuff. Space, baby, space. Let's grab a card first. Trees? Don't hate it. Let's, um... I mean, open city, though, is where it's going to be. We just need to buy those oceans, quite frankly. So, ocean here. Aquifer up here. Let's just go for the money back for a second. Because I think the best open city is going to be here. Because that's two greeneries that we're going to end up beside it. So, that's like the full city. Terraforming complete. We play birds. We activate the bird. We import even more plants and birds. Oh, I should have gotten ants. Ants would have been a two-point card as well. I didn't even realize. Um, but I don't know. All, all of this is fine as well, right? I mean, nine bucks for three points plus we get two bucks back. Advanced ecosystems. And then probably trees. So, die, 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 die. Because trees gets us a whole bunch of plants, and that'll probably end up being a greenery. And it has the point on it, obviously. And we didn't find life. But hey, this is a solid run, man. If, if we had played a little bit more greedily in a couple of locations or times, this could have been massive. A couple more city cards, for instance, could have done a lot for us. But... Boom! 20 points on cards. So over 100. Solid game. Solid game. Sometimes hard in Prelude to, to really have those blow-up games. I know our biggest game is a Prelude game, but most of our high games are, uh, are 14 gens. But hey, no bugs, no issues. We got through a game. Hope you enjoyed. I sure did. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.